Hi, I'm Beck, and today we're going to have a look at an example of a think aloud. Think alouds are probably my most favorite pedagogical strategy and has made such a difference in my classroom. However, I know the first couple of times you do a think aloud it might feel a little bit silly because what you are actually doing is externalizing all that internal talk, but students can get so much from those conversations. So I thought I'd give a little example. Let's dive in. Here is my ruler. Now I can look at this ruler in lots of different ways, but there's actually three different ways that I can count on this ruler. I can count in ones, I can count in tens, and I can also count in fives. Sounds confusing, but let's break it down. When I look at my ruler, I can see these nice, thick, longer lines, and these are my centimeters. When I count, even though I can't see, I know that there is a zero here, and I can count one, two, three. The other kind of line that I can see are these very little lines over here as well. These show my millimeters. And when I count those, I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And even though there's not a 10, I know that the 10 and the one are actually the same. And these are my millimeters. And in the middle, I can see that my five is just a little bit longer. And that is there to help me measure more effectively. And those can be counted in fives. So I've got 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. For example, if I wanted to measure this pen, I'm going to start not at the end. I'm going to start from my 0. And I can see that it doesn't quite make it to the 3. But I can see that it's 1 and 2 centimeters. And then it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 six, seven, eight millimeters long. So it's two centimeters and eight millimeters. Or I can use my other way of counting where I can go one, two, count from my five, six, seven, eight. Now, while this might be simple and think alouds often are, these allow students an opportunity to tune into your thoughts and grab those little aha moments of things that they haven't quite mastered yet. Give it a go in your classroom and see if you can spot those aha moments.